I'm I'm out of gas. I'm not gonna lie. This is the fucking week where I don't know if it's COVID or the election or the world or what, but I just don't have it. Probably it's solid. All of the above bucks. <laughs> Sorry, maybe you get revenge on this door to try and try and fix things for me. We'll see what happens. God, we're gonna fuck this door up so bad. Uh, you have no idea. What you need to do, Chris, is have a fucking uh, a mimic door. So Zach can try and kick a door in, and it just bites his fucking leg off. True. <laughs> yeah, but then he'll make a sweet is robot is leg. A, the 2020 door. I was say, except Hammer fucks doors so hard, like the mimic will open its mouth, and Hammer will just bury its foot in the back of the throat and suffocate the bitch. <laughs> I think I need to take better care of these sensor boy tokens, or else I wouldn't have any for when I use my sensor boys in a game of X Wing on the table. You're never going to use them. Don't worry about it. I just want to grow to be Zach's complete lack of regard for sound quality when it's at some point in life. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm eating and scraping like silverware in front of a microphone and then blowing my nose into it. Should I mute any of this? No, fuck it. Hey, okay. man. I mean, to be fair, I was pretty good on the Squadron podcast. True. As you know, this is always and will always be and no, always has it. been. I'm not even complaining. It's like hot damn it. <laughs> I was so confused because I was like, well, on the one hand, I'm trying to interject that we should explain jousting for the listener and it's not happening. But on the other hand, I just really get the vibe like I shouldn't eat into my microphone tonight. <laughs> I mean, have you considered RTX voice? What is that? There it's it really is. Good. The answer is no. It is. It's really right, good. Zach, actually, if you go, to, you see at the bottom where it says video or voice connected, video connected, and there's yeah. like private chat. There's a the disconnect button. There's that like line through five bars next to that. Yeah. If you mouse over, it says noise suppression powered yeah. by Crisp. Yeah. Click that. No. Okay. True. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. This is what the people pay for. Why? What does it do? Hold on. Let me try. <clears throat> Enable crisp noise suppression. I'm sorry. Enable crisp noise suppression. Make it takes, noise. It it takes away your First Amendment right. While speaking, just so you know. Your friends will hear nothing but your beautiful voice. Can you guys hear me clapping? Uh, yeah, we can hear you clapping. No, it doesn't work. No, it's Did you turn it on? No. Uh, crisp is actually garbage. How about yeah. now? I turned it on. Yeah, now we couldn't hear you clapping. Yeah, what you really want is that bootleg RTX voice. Yeah. True. Bootleg RTX voice is pretty oh, good. Can't hear you coughing, Zach. You're not even getting a green oh, Okay, ball. the mic test is echoing me. That's weird. All right, Thank can you hear you. the clapping? No, no, we can't hear the clapping. Wow, this is bullshit. Oh, my <laughs> <water bath. laughs> Fucking nerf <laughs> crisp. <laughs> All right, so I would... Because sure cares you, uh, about audio you know what? Chambly, last time I created some of my two months ago, where were we? <laughs> was it really? I don't actually know. Let's see. Hi, chips. It was pre. It was before the squadron time, so it doesn't even count as time. True. Uh, we published it on September fifth. So. God damn. It was probably. We probably I did it. Got, it I did on, not turn that one around really quickly, though. You did, but I don't think you turned it around the next day. There's a chance that I just didn't go to bed because it was a short one. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. I think you're right. Let's see. I'm scrolling up no, in our conversation. It was definitely. It maybe, was I am a, maybe I am a Chris, Chris Simp having thought simp. about that, what I alert. just said. Simp alert. Simp alert. Yeah, the words I just said kind of put pay to my objection, sir. Maybe I stayed up late on a Friday night editing because it was a short one. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Last time on Crates in a Mine. We had a big boss fight, and we fought a bunch of bad guys. We fought somebody. We fought someone who looked like uh, Ilaria, and then we fought Barf, and then we fought the big titty goth GF from before, and then uh, Nedia was there, who was a bad guy, but turned out to not be a bad guy because her friends are her power, she and Ryan saved us. Otherwise, it would have been TPK'd by Ryan. <laughs> Uh, also, there was the also there was the actual boss from the module, who's like some generic level five level loser three wizard loser who was immediately downed and level three <laughs> Jesus Christ who was immediately downed and killed <laughs> and never did anything. It's shocking. It, it was great. 
It was Literally great. Died in the first um, attack. Baskins. Baskins. Uh, Barth went down like a sack of potatoes, and then Baskins took her time, his time, their time, to harvest all of Barth's backstory. <laughs> uh barth did not survive the encounter so got him uh and then the alaria was actually a doppelganger which subverted my expectations because there already was a doppelganger masterpiece masterpiece masterful filmmaking by by chris allen no. Brian johnson in my defense that's in the module there's just another fucking doppelganger there <laughs> Well, we, ne- we never would have expected the second doppelganger. Yeah, anyway, that, that was Buff's one. All... But credit where it's due, Buff wanted the doppelganger to laugh at Amrick. Yep, and then they all died. Hot twist, uh, it just made Hamrick matter. True. They all died, uh, and then we got me sword back. And then it turns out that the thing that was here is a thing that works. And then we let the government in. Uh, as all private businesses should, and the government swiftly took over and limited our access to our own property, which sounds about right. Um, also, everyone in Fanlin died. You hate to see it. Uh, and then while the government was taking over our private property, we were, in the guise of science, able to basically turn all of our stuff magical before the government kicked us out. For using all our own property. 100% of our non t- non Tim listeners have asked us how Hamrick's acts of drinking works now. No, Miranda. No, eat daddy's dinner. No, get out of there. Miranda, no. That's how it works. You yell at Miranda. No, so the way it works is uh, it's got a little latch that opens up. So Hamrick pops the latch on the bottom of the handle and swigs it upwards. So, like, he's. So it's like handle touching mouth, axe blade on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Yep, it checks out. Anyway, all the stuff that we have is now magical, and then the Magic Forge got taken over by the government, and now we don't have it. And now we're going to commit suicide by dragon. <laughs> Maybe. Because Maybe. Of property rights you guys are pretty that. broken, so... I have faith in our DM to kill us. <laughs> Free. I want to be free from this pain. We believe in nothing, Lebowski. <laughs> uh, and everyone in Fanlin's dead. Uh, Holly is maybe dead? Probably not, because she is a position of power, and people in positions of power never suffer the consequences for their actions. Um, true. True. So everyone in, in Fanlin's dead, except for Holly. And Bart's dead. And Baskins has all of Bart's backstory. True and true, and, true, true. And our new job now, as people who don't have any property anymore, uh, who have lost our capital because uh, government uh, has a monopoly on force. Look at the shoulder um, getting. And... The libertarian Chambly arc is a strong one. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm not sure it's as strong as Miranda like sitting on Zach's head, but it's pretty good. My baby. Drop a bomb. Drop a bomb. Sure same then... team. <laughs> Give him the bomblet right there. Please kill bomblet. me. Bomblet. Bomblet. Uh, yeah. yeah. So now our only goal is to die and collect more backstory. True. This dragon's going to have a lot of backstory at the end. Not from you guys, because he's going to collect all the ones Baskins took. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. So. Yeah, Nettia told you in Fandolin there weren't very many defenders. The walls kind of sucked, and nobody saw Halia or much of any Zenterum people. Pretty much everybody died. The end. Um. Yeah, and then uh, you guys. Do are... you guys have a dog in the background? No. I'm in to go figure out why I hear a dog barking in what sounds like inside my house. I don't have a dog. Not you, dog not, not that you know of. Now right. you I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he'd had a dog for three weeks and hadn't noticed. True. <laughs> okay. So here we are on wait, is this the world map? No, that's the world world map. We want the Sword Coast map. Here we go. Alright, so we are here. Simon is gonna be our token to move around the world map because he's not here. Dank. 
So you guys are headed up to Thunder Tree? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'd say, you know, it's the supply situation, but you have a donkey with unlimited space effectively. So who gives a shit? Oh, shit. It's been so long since we played. I don't know where, like, my dice and everything are. Huh. Where did I put those? Oh, God. They're not even in my room anymore. One second. Are they in here? No. Hmm. There's a very small number of places I would put this. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Did I put it in the drawer? Just tell us what you need to roll and we'll roll them for you, Chris. It's okay. True. Can we just like right turn into Star Metal Hills because Chris is totally prepared for that. Yeah, sure. That's LFG. <laughs> Yeah, You're so we decided we wanted to go to uh, to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. What's and, all this uh, black stuff down here? And then here? descend into Avernus. <laughs> yeah. All right, I still can't find my dice and tray. What? All right, dice. The unironic my dice. Is it in here? And I'm just blind. Okay, it's just my neighbor's yes. husky freaking out at other dogs. Is it a red dice or found it? We're good. Okay. All right. So, what's the plan? Where are we going? Back to Thunder Tree? I mean, I, that's what I thought. All right. Well, let's do it. How are you getting there? Everybody can ride Barafina together. Do, do that we want is to, really lewd. Do we want to straight line it to Karagmar Castle, sweep there, and then go to Thunder Tree? What castle? Karagmar it's Castle, where we, where we fucked up that, that other guy. Yeah. I don't remember what Karagmar Castle is. Sorry, it's where the old bird doppelganger. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the place where Ben mind controlled a goblin and he made our friend and then we sent it off to its death. Checks out. Big I thought that was the cave. That was everywhere. Right? That, that was everywhere, actually. True. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. true. It happens every level. week. So. Oh, that's okay. my friends. Ben to go to. They, they give they give consent after he charms them. It's fine. True. Posthumous. Wait, sorry. Posthumous consent is still consent. Fucking Chris destroyed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. So straight line in it. All right. Yeah. Well, you know I'm gonna save us a lot of time. This is thirty. Hey, do any bandits choose to ignore us and then kill innocent people on the way because we didn't know they were there? What? That All is right. the struggle. That is the struggle with being so powerful. Uh, All right, yeah, you guys make it to Cragmaw Castle with nothing too exciting happening. Does 132 hit? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> I'm just calculating the number of pages of backstory Baskins has now. <laughs> Strong. Is there anything on your random encounter table that's not a waste of everyone's time? Uh, I was gonna make something if any if I roll something sufficiently exciting in there. I was just rolling sixty twenty at disadvantage or whatever. Nice, saving time. All right, you guys make it to Cragmaw Castle. I guess you'd want to be here. Whatever, one of these yeah. times. Yeah. For old time's sake, we'll tie Marvin to a tree. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Are you we actually still have Marvin. I'll give Marvin pets. Hammerkel pet Marvin. Pet Marvin. Nice. All right. Nothing yeah, comes up overnight either. Pets. We'll cut Marvin off the sure. tree. Marvin's too cool to be in a tree. I'm not sure when the last time we fed him was. Marvin is Barafina's best friend. True. True. All right. Off to Thunder Tree. Let's fucking go. Hi, you know, I don't know that Seraphine has ever had animal friends with these kind of roles ever <laughs> in history. Nope. Jesus. 
even even Marvin's unimpressed. Saying oh, Marvin's got right. low standards. So you guys make it outside Thunder Tree, and a whole bunch. No, Travis Raddington's not a party member anymore. You don't have to talk as him anymore. Get He's out. dead. Like my dreams. All right, give me just a second. Bless you. Thanks for nothing, Chris. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how this noise suppression shit works. Not very All well. All right. So, as you guys get here, roll me some perception checks. What you got? What is perception? I agree. Can I swing an axe at it? Okay. <laughs> I attack the perception. <laughs> All right. Well, pretty much everybody notices. As you start getting there, it's a little less uh, just healthy in general. Like, you know, trees are dying. Fuck yeah, suck it, trees. There's less. You know, come some trees? Motherfucking doors. I thought you were going to say elves, but I'll take doors, too. The rocks make... also make doors. And ironically, my of my enemies thoughts. come from trees. Hmm. Yep, so, you know, trees are withering. There's not very many wild animals. You come across a couple carcasses without obvious wounds killing them. Uh, but, yeah, we strolling on into Thunder Tree. Um, should we investigate... Wait, carcasses without obvious wounds? Yep, just kind of a couple dead animals. You know, like a deer here, like a wolf somewhere else. You know, just kind of lie down dead. Can I hide to check to see what killed him? Yeah, sure. 21. Yeah, so no obvious wounds or anything. Uh, It just kind of seems like they died of, uh, let's see. They died of a broken heart. True. Did we find out there was no new content for squadrons on the first part? And just what's the will to live? Yeah, true. (laughs) Um, No, no. It's like something killed them from the inside out without any. Oh, so it was love. Yeah, true. It was a broken heart. <laughs> She's lost the will to live. Yeah, so are you going to, like, take this thing apart to, like... No, no, I'm not going to, like, medicine. That's why I went nature instead of medicine. Yeah, I'm yeah. not, I'm not okay. being invasive. Okay. Um, yeah, we good? We moving on? Yeah, Anything else yeah. you guys want to do here? Well, you know... Um, I... Well... Just be selfish, maybe. Cast, I like selfish um, Chris is my favorite Chris. Shit. TBH. Might as well. I mean, you're not going to have much more yeah. time to be selfish. I <laughs> will. There is one uh, imposter among where's, us. Where's, uh, also, where is Simon <laughs> off to? Why Simon's is he not bad. with the party? Uh, he, he's he, having a good time with Marvin. They got a little yeah. too close. They started a traveling show. He, uh, he went to Fanlin to help rebuild. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sure. To marry Halia. Yeah. Well, you guys don't give a fuck. So yeah, I got you. He went to go. He went to go find Halia. Yeah. He went to go, Where's Halia? I need my big titty goth. <laughs> Wait, sorry, Aryan GF. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need my so, unrepresented in squadrons but, girlfriend. Simon. Simon. No, he went Jesus. back. To, he went back to Fanlin to to mac on all the widows. Um, a dwarf's already resistant to poison. I'm right. Uh, my character sheet or my handbook is not down here, so I don't know. Yes, I think so. Um, I will cast protection yeah, from I have poison. On saving throws against poison and resistance against poison damage. Right, so, well, how far away are we at? Right, it only lasts an hour, so I'm not going to spunk it. Oh, uh, like a couple miles out. Uh, I'll wait. A couple less than two. Yeah, he I'll wait until we get onto a tactical map. He's from England. Oh, so it's we, uh, several kilometers. Where we use miles. It's, it's approximately like uh thirty thousand millimeters. It's twenty-two stone. <laughs> I wonder where the imperial comes from in the imperial system. Is he really not gonna hmm. Hmm. clarify really the thirty thousand millimeters? <laughs> Wait, do you guys really use the imperial system in England? Yeah. 
Then why the fuck did he come to the moon? He is Canadian. All right, Chris, pop quiz. How many millimeters in a mile? Go. Fuck me. Uh, oh, metric's so good. So there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. Yep. There's 10 centimeters. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, there's what, 3.8. Is that right? 3.8 kilometers for a mile? No, 1.8 kilometers in a mile. 1.6 kilometers for a mile. Right. About, approximate. A boot. I don't and then times a thousand. So yeah. 1,600,000 approximately. Hey, hey, wow. What do you know? You need an American to get things done correctly. <laughs> an American <laughs> with a math degree. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hard the metric system is. No wonder you've never been to the moon. Sorry, All right. um, so yeah, you guys are a couple you, miles out. Have um, you been to the moon? Yes. Have you not? Mm -hmm. Hello. What? N none what of you have that? been to a moon. Me and Elon went there last week. Yeah, true. I, I was extremely proud to be North American when Elon put people in space. Oh my God, North, North American. American. Okay. <laughs> Just say if you. Anyways, he so almost you guys, no way. I Look, There's no way I can't spin no, it to make myself here. feel good. Sorry. Look at you with your health care and your corona. Actually, I guess here's more not accurate. North yeah, American. he ran straight that way. Right, you guys wanted to go this way, right? Like oh, straight right there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you guys are but... in a forest. Yeah. I was like, I, why are we in a forest? Because that's the way you guys walked. I just put the token in the wrong place. Okay, cool. All right, so we walk it on in. You're walking on up. We are a couple miles out right now. Uh, Roughly like 3.2 well, million I millimeters. Think... I think we'll yeah. approach somewhat warily, uh, perhaps somewhat spaced out, maybe not exactly on, on top of each other. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, just walking up though, like not doing yeah. anything special. Oh wait, I mean. does Serafina know how to make like I don't know, like herbal remedies and stuff, like make potions? Uh, I do, yeah. I could have spent some time while we were making magic items trying to do that. <laughs> and I remembered it was weeks and weeks and weeks where I got where I specifically took that spider venom, venom to make yeah. potions with that would have been really smart huh yeah. that would have been <laughs> fucking Serafina what a loser <laughs> Barf would have remembered Serafina would have been way better because she at least can't make potions she's a bear yeah true well, that's a probably why she, she was probably being a cave bear hibernating Baskin says <laughs> ain't unlucky ain't it True, and it then and then shakes his shakes his head like he's really confused at what just happened. <laughs> Baskins is being taken over by the backstory. <laughs> <laughs> that is just unlucky, in it. <laughs> the voice is coming from inside the Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> but who was Monk? All right. Anyway, so yeah, as you guys are wandering up there, you know, it's a it's like a. It's not a super dense forest, but it's dense enough that it's like you don't have the best view of the sky. But as you get closer, you see flying up in the sky a very familiar looking green dragon. Oh, it's the green dragon from before. And I'll go ahead and just put you all on the map. In yeah, here. very lucky. Uh, and I just kind of put your tokens in here kind of arbitrarily. Uh, oh, except, yeah, you guys are probably coming from down here. Sorry. There we go. So yeah, feel free to arrange yourself how you want. This thing's like pretty high in the sky. Um, it's not like a, I, we turned off dynamic lighting here, right? No. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, I assume we just take cover behind some trees and buildings, get out of sight. Go in this what building. What is yeah. called a bitch? True. Well, I am a rogue, so it's kind of my thing. Um, so I have protection from poison, which is a good spell and probably explains why I didn't bother trying to make any potions. Not that I forgot. <laughs> yeah, definitely calculated. <laughs> Absolutely um, on purpose. So I will probably cast that on Baskins before we start the, uh, the fighting. As long as Bastions would like to be immune to poison. Oh, sorry, resistant cool. to poison. Neat. Add it to my it repertoire of damage immune. resistance. And then Daisy can have it as well. Nice. 
Okay, should I just cast all my level two spells and stuff? None. We don't need them, do we? They were extra. Can't imagine why you would. Nobody needs that many level two spells. Yeah. And then it, if it if we don't fight it in the next hour, we'll just go away, sweep, and then I'll get my spells back. Sure, well, nothing well. can go wrong. Is there so? I learned of the existence of a nap spell. Um, that I level is there a WAP spell? <laughs> Only a WAP spell. I, but I think they get rid of it. That's true. Or is this a homebrew thing? Because it seemed really broken. Nap. No. Not a homebrew. It yet. doesn't sound like Coomer bait, so I don't think it's a homebrew. Creatures affected by the spell are put to sleep for one hour. Upon awakening, the creature is refreshed as if it slept for eight hours. Wizards can memorize spells as if real time had passed. Yay. Uh, it's definitely not a druid spell, so let's get yeah, it's, it's not in 5th edition. I was curious if they axed it because it was super dumb, because it seems super dumb. <laughs> Cool. I have an extra third level spell that I swap that I didn't know about. Glad I checked my player's handbook. Okay, LFG. I think if we if we take the time now to go and get in its lair, we can ambush it when it comes home. No one True. will suspect it, and dragons definitely never get lair actions and become more powerful. True. Oh, well, that's all that, hundred percent lair action <laughs> phrase. And, Sounds awfully not made up <laughs> and awfully concerning. Get lair I, action. If they did, I'm sure it's something that Serafina wouldn't know about. I mean, the real question is, are we wimps? Um, I, I suppose. Who else has got ranged attacks? How high up is this dragon? Oh, like pretty high up, and it's like not looking at you or anything, right? It's just like kind of flying in a circle around. And it's like, I don't know, like a few thousand feet up. Just high enough to be immune to damage. I don't know. I, I could call lightning on it. Where's the gravity spell? That's what we need. Why aren't we? We're playing Kingdom Hearts, right? That's what I was told. I, we're playing Kingdom Hearts. Where's the gravity spell? What the fuck did I just hear? <laughs> what about if I cast jump on Hamrick? Can he jump high enough to throw his axe at it? Hmm. Question. I mean, I know how to find out. All right, I'll make an athletics roll. <laughs> hmm. All right, I don't think a 12 gets me there. I'll try again. Nope. Again. There it is. Does a 22 keep get rolling until you get there? No. You jump as high as you can, which isn't very high. You throw your axe, and you end up, you know, 60 feet away, feeling really stupid. What if I throw my axe up? What if I throw a regular axe up into the air, and then mm -hmm. throw my teleporting axe to hit it, and yep. then keep doing that to teleport you wanna try? a better climb? <laughs> <laughs> I'm super no. in if you want to try it. No. Uh, I can, I one I can shoot it. I can shoot an arrow, and you can try and hit the arrow with, with your axe. Oh, there we go. Maybe. No, I think uh, I, I think this uh, if we ambush it in the lair, we can come at it from different directions, and then it can't I, use its I, breath I, weapon to to hurt I those think, of you who aren't dwarves with poison resistance. Uh, if we don't fight it in its lair, we have to deal with the fact that it can just fly away. It's not like, so, oh, can we just bait it into another building? I don't think that's a good idea, actually. I think it would just sit outside the building and breath us to death. I think there's a high likelihood of us getting breathed. I mean, I know we've been talking about fighting this dragon for about, like, six weeks. But most of the talk involves let's fight effective. this dragon. We keep we keep we keep discussing fighting it, and then that's the end of it. We're never like, here's how we want to fight it. We're like, hey, we should fight a dragon, and that's kind of where the conversation ends. It gets because we know there's no chance. 
Uh, I just assume that Chris is shit at the game, so we're going to beat him. True. So, I'm going to I'm going to choose to joust the dragon. True. Uh, is it an X-wing playing dragon? Because it'll joust you right back. Well, that's what I mean. It's spoiler. Infinite, it's the best joust. Modern playing dragon, apparently. It's also the most maneuverable list, though. It can fly. <laughs> so True. hanging out on the dragon in its lair sounds pretty cool and cinematic. Also, we don't have any way to bring it down from the sky, do we? Besides, like a lightning bolt. Yeah, that's the only thing I've got would be a big hitting like call lightning. But we definitely yeah. want to use that when we're in the middle of fighting it so that I can keep it going. Do we have some nets or anything like that? You know what? We should go back to the town and we should buy some giant fucking weighted nets. What we should have done is made a net. And a sea in, we, we should have got a net, then put it in the forge to make a magical net and see what would have happened. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go back to... Well, uh, it would just turn into... Well, no, the forge... The, the net Can we spend a death magical, point? It would just turn into a plus one net. <laughs> and who needs what does, what does my Barf's backstory point get me? That's what I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> to my... <laughs> what does Barf's backstory think about this? Is it also a, is it a bonus action? I'm lucky, in it? <laughs> <laughs> so how much ropes do we have uh, we could tie rope around Hamrick and then I mean, tie I rope to axes go. and then try and get Hamrick tied to the dragon in some way so it can't yeah. fly away from all of us and then it can be his job to cut its wings off so that it has to land that sounds, that sounds pretty flawless to me yeah there it is alright uh, uh, I think the <laughs> Baskins, Hamrick, and Daisy should be team Let's Make the Dragon Land, and Seraphina should be team I'm just going to lightning bolt the dragon and hope that that helps. That helps. Strong. I, I've already, I, I will spunk all of my level two spells into protecting us all from poison. To get, you want how about this? We can we can we can do like two things. We could either just have Hammer go off on his own, just start shouting at the dragon, "Hey, dragon, you, fuck you, come fight me!" Um, while we're hanging so out far. like past without a trace nearby, and when it comes down, we uh we jump it, or we just do the go hang out in this lair until it goes to bed, and then fucking cut its throat while it's asleep. I think a combination of us hiding in its lair while Hamrick calls it out to get it to come back. And then as it comes to try and fuck Hamrick, then we jump it. Okay, I'm in. The How many... They, they must get tired. I they mean, sleep, it, right? Having your name on the front cover of a book must get tiring, especially if you're not True. a dungeon. True. <laughs> I, what I just, if we scout the we've dragon? D- we've done the dungeon. Now we need to do a dragon. Uh, then we finish the game. Surely we get maybe, a credit scene. Maybe I, we can hide in the dragon's treasure pile because I heard the dragons have these. And then when the dragon sleeps, jump out and kill it. I mean, right. how about we put Marvin in the open? No. Uh, Marvin's here. I'll sacrifice Hamrick before I sacrifice Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Same team. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What about we we convince Simon to cast Charm on himself and stand in the open? Simon's not here. He's off like trying to mac widows in Fanlin. True. Pretty fucked up if you ask me. TBH. We should have brought Sildar with us. He would have helped. Would he? Sure. Yeah, we, we could have told the dragon to eat Sildar and then just left. True. I don't know. So what do you think? In the building or in the open? Where do we want to try and fight it? Because I think Zach's right. If we fight it in the building, we do get absolutely fucked by breath weapon. But it can only do that once because there's no way Chris will recharge it because he's a shitter. Literally can't be done, true.
Yeah, I mean that sort of is the like big problem is it's either it either can fly or well that's why i was thinking we would hide like in multiple places in its treasure pile in its lair because that building that was its lair wasn't that big right mm. so like if we could encircle it yeah the other go, thing right? as well is i can't cast protection from poison on everyone and pass without a trace if I'm assuming want... you guys are having this conversation en route to here, right? Not just chilling out yeah. here in the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is stuff we probably should yeah. have been planning for <laughs> last, like seven weeks whilst we were in the forge. That, yeah. Probably should have. Look, we didn't get to where we are by proper planning, okay? It's not time to start now. Well, this is what the listeners are here for. Yeah. I mean, I think we could probably chase the dragon. It's fine. We, right. we Josh seriously is, don't have Josh a way to. Level like, five now. We don't. We seriously don't have a way to disable its flying capacity, though. Hey. Um. I think so. Honor. Like getting you below a tree line would be dope. Like if there's like a thickly I wooded area, we're gonna have to come down. Because called shots on a dragon seems like a bad call since it adds I, to the AC. I feel like um, having to take a, a strength check against my DC of 15 for a dragon probably isn't going to work. Then I could entangle it in vines. I'm a big fan of the entangling vines and green dragon plan. Yeah, it seems like it couldn't fail. Yeah, that's true. I don't yeah, have well, stone shit in there. I'm going to we'll figure it out from there. Like, I, I feel like we can fight it inside if we can get it so that it can't, like, get the dream AoE with the breath weapon, right? Like that that's that's my one sort of thought on this. Yeah, as long as we can see avoid getting yeah. like breath weapon, we should be okay, right? What about if we uh if we find some bodies, cut them all up, and then like through our voices so a dragon fought that it was a bunch of morons stood together, got it to use a breath weapon on them. Then we attack. Oh. I mean, do we think we could get him to, like, breath weapon the wrong building? No, but I feel like it's better than not trying. Because I, like... The problem is, is, so, like, right now, the building that makes the most sense to fight it where we're not all head-on is its lair, which is where it's strongest. I still think we've got a better chance of killing it in its lair than in the open. Because yeah, I, I think, think I... if like Yeah. Yeah. Because they can't run away. I mean we, we could we could play Monster Hunter so, fight yeah, it in do... the open because we know where its lair is, and then when it goes to sleep, we can charge up a big attack and fuck it while it's trying to recover its health. We just have no way to bring it down, apart from the use hammer as a lure method. Yeah, that'd be the biggest issue. We're like close enough to its lair. So I, that... think just, you know, I think we just I think we just ambush it in its lair. Um we you know post ourselves in different spots so we yep. don't all get breath of Hide once. in the treasure. Yeah. Yep, I'm in. This is all assuming that the dragon is, you know, not in its lair when we get there, because we definitely haven't already gotten there. This is us planning out in advance. We can advance with, uh, what is it, with the uh, pass without a trace, get in there, position ourselves, and probably be okay. Like, our best case scenario is it's already in there to sleep, and you just get free, free rounds on it, right? Oh, yeah, that'd be even better. Get a fucking ambush round, let's go. 
Yeah. So why don't we just hang out in town, undercover, of course, and uh, wait for it to land. And then once it's in its lair, we can sneak in and get a free attack run on it. Yeah. I mean, that sounds good to me. We can, just, we can, we can even like, pull back to the forest edge. And uh, if we made a deal with like Bashamra or some devil person, we could try and see if we'll let us send a pit fiend to fight it. You know, just, just sell our That's souls to a devil work. seems fun. The good news is, is we have plenty of versions here. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, this is why I wanted to play D&D. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess, yeah, we'll just, like, we can pull back to the tree line, hang out until nightfall, and then make, try and get a you cut out, try and How's get us something. That's a surprise. Oh, try and get a surprise round while it's asleep. Yeah. I think so. Are we are we hiding in its lair or are we going to enter its lair after it sleeps? I think it's probably safer to like hang out at the tree line and then when it go when the when night falls. Sneak into town and get to it. Any of us know or like have a reasonable ability to know if the dragon, um, like, I mean, presumably it would have some sort of trap or warning system on its lair, right? Like, last time, right? Yeah, we just well, tried last to time we kicked the door, open the door and its trap was the fucking breath weapon of its face pointed at the door. <laughs> I think. Well, no, last time. Well, no, last time what happened was. We tried kicking the door, and then you rolled like a one or a two, and then you almost broke your leg, and then he breath weaponed. Then it opened the door and breath weaponed us. Yeah. Well, yeah, why does it have a regular sized door to its lair, by the way? I would say more of open the door. Weapon? I would say more of destroyed the door. <laughs> Yeeted the door. Yeah. Why so, did it have a door to its lair? It's a full size dragon. Question, Zach. I wonder how it gets in and out of its lair. Is it? Is there an opening? Is there like a roof at the top of its lair? No, oh, we Jeremy. lost someone. Rip Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, I don't know. Do yeah. you remember if there's an opening in the top of its lair? I mean, Zach doesn't, but this was like but a I think there was, memory. Uh, so there wasn't does. an opening in the top of the square bit from memory, but we didn't. We never got inside the rain bit. Do you I remember, remember what it happened? Took, it took off flying after us, but then it sort of... Oh, no, of... It, it sat on its on the roof, didn't it? And was, like, laughing at us or something. Yeah. Check the tapes, I don't know. The tapes, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Tell me what happened, Tims. It went out up on the roof, flew around some, and mocked you for being a fucking soy door kicker. <laughs> All right, so then I say we wait till it's awake, and then we kick the door open again for real, let it know what's up. And then I don't even care. I'll die. I'll die just to make sure that fucking dragon knows who the master of fucking doors is here. Lord. Also, to the virgin comment earlier, Hamrick and Barafina, not virgins, and all of you watched it happen on stage. Hmm. Jesus. Mm. I think mm. I want a bigger cut of that money. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, so wait a second. If it has a roof it can escape through, that means this whole lair plan is fucking stupid. No, I, I think it would be that it would be pretty pissed off if we uh, fought, fought it in its lair and kicked its ass. But then we wouldn't know it where, where it would run off to. So I think ambushing it near its lair, so if we are by some fucking miracle winning and it runs, we know where it's going to run to. True. So why it's not here, we could also try and lay traps in its lair. 
We're like that. Who can lay traps among us? We can make some sharp pointy sticks. All right. Put put some peas underneath its mattress so it doesn't get a good night's sleep. Oh, there it is. Oh, here's what we should do. When it falls asleep, we'll put a ha- its hand in a jar of water, and then when it sleeps, we'll bash its skull with a fucking rock. That's a prank we used to pull in high school. We uh, we've got a dwarf. Dwarves know about stonework, surely. Yeah. That doesn't seem like a racial stereotype. We could no. make it so that the, the walls will cave in when it lands in its way, and the wall will just fall on it. Yeah, it seems like oh, it could be something I could easily discreetly do with a few hours' time. Mm-hmm. Crack on, Master Dwarf. <laughs> I don't know. Has anyone got any... any? I was going to say better ideas, but I suppose the word is ideas. <laughs> this makes... <laughs> <laughs> this makes the baiting it into the open plan seem a lot better, actually. Yeah. Okay. Like you said, better idea. Asking totally pulls out his later. pager and it just says Baldur's Gate on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still want to fight this dragon properly because it. We didn't get to fight it last time, so it just fucked us right away. What a spoiler! I might just just run away again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like then Baskins can carry my Seraphina's backstory with him. That yeah, implies we'll, we'll, we'll that, we'll that Chris isn't now. just going to go the more, more, more on Baskins in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, last time we were all grieving from the loss of Travis too. Now that loss doesn't feel Who? as bad. Who? What's a cleric? So you know we got we got the we got the positive energy on our side now. Yeah, I think I'm in on just trying to get it to fight us in the open. Then I guess what we should do is try and get it to fight us far enough from the lair that like it would think that we don't just know where its lair is, right? Like if we fight on the far side of town. That way, if it gets upset and tries to run away, one, because it's anchored to its own lair, so, like, it makes our retreat lines better. But two, like, if it freaks out and tries to run away, it'll actually think it's safe there. Yeah. Right? Like, we if we attack it directly outside its house, and it's like, oh, no, I'm losing. Like, the whole it falls back and thinks we don't know where it is seems pretty advantageous. Are dragons smart? How smart are dragons? Is that a question for me? This one's probably pretty stupid. I mean, it is in this module. True. Yeah, so I'm I'm down with, like, fan out and ambush it, hammerick bait. I mean, I like the non-hammerick bait slightly more, but... I know what what we should have done is raised up any survivors of Fandolin and brought them with us, and they could fight as our militia against the dragon that we definitely wouldn't have told them about. Like give them all a sharpened stick or a pineapple to throw at it. You could get them a number of weapons and armor so that they're well-regulated. Oh, we don't want it to be a threat to the government. Jesus. Fucking Michigan people. Yeah, I, I'm on Team Hamrick. Yeah, so like, are are we in on a little away from the uh, the actual lair, or are we gonna hit its front door? A little away from the lair, so like, uh, see if we can follow it, like uh, visually. See if it's gonna look, looks like it's gonna land anywhere, and then the second we see it land, try and just fight it there. Probably trying to find one of these fucking corpses to eat because it's too much of a pussy to kill something fresh. The dragon's immune to its own poison, right? Because yeah. man, the dream the dream would be like 
Yeah, the, the dragon wouldn't waste its breath on, like, a mundane animal. Because the dream would be, like, dragon fucking goes to town on, like, a deer or some shit. Hamrick comes out, gives him the sword. Dragon turns around, breaths Hamrick. Everybody sh- kills dragon from behind. Right, like, Hamrick gives him the sword. Daisy comes in, sneak attacks. Baskin comes in and cancels for two, like, eight times. I mean, it seems yeah. like we're about as ready as we're going to get. Yep. Yeah. Having uh, not spent our uh, two months off preparing for how we're going to do this, I agree. <laughs> I mean, then we would have to let everyone see the Discord. True. We, we would just pay... Oh, God. What if What if we just stop recording right now and play Squadrons, plan this out all in Discord, and have Staniszewski and Farmer read the transcript from the Discord? What, what about if instead of doing it on Roll20, we had the fight on Squadrons and the dragon was a Star Destroyer? Oh, I'm in. No. The dragon is an agile tie bomber with ion jet engine played by yours truly. <laughs> and then the, the dragon would get to be a good guy, so and that feels bad. Man, that's true. Build now. It's just like in this. You guys are about to violate the fuck out of the non aggression pact or whatever. Violate the nap. True. Okay, let's do this. So, what's the dragon doing? We're here now. I'm going to not cast protection from poison until we see it's about to come down and try and fuck us off. In its eyes. Yeah, I'm getting yelled at by Crate Movie Night. Fucking Crate Movie Night. The, the best thing to happen until Squadrons. True. Apparently they're watching my autobiography. What is your autobiography? Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Oh. Apparently it's a Chris Allen documentary. Hopefully they let me know how it ends. Uh, I'd like to know. I don't think that's true. I guess it's a Chris Allen documentary if you don't actually know like one of the underlying the the major underlying themes of uh I'm being told somehow despite all your attempts you get a girl so it's accurate it's pretty accurate All right anyway well, so, so yeah, oh, go ahead All right I was going to no, 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 Scott good. Pilgrim okay. All right so one well, of my favorites the, the Rachel girl aspect Oh yeah that too Jesus I so the so you know he's got to fight his, the evil exes or whatever right but at the end, he has to fight his nega self. But instead of fighting his nega self, they have a conversation. He goes, yeah, turns out he's actually a really nice guy. Can't believe I thought he was evil. Because the reality is that Scott, our actual protagonist, Scott, is a fucking asshole. Mm. Gotcha. True. So it is because, accurate. Yeah, it is me. He, True. He, he's the, the college. Well, I was going to say you're a very nice guy, and I like you, Chris. What a fucking liar, dude. Say alert. He's temp alert. Do you wanna do you wanna edit this video, Zach, for Chris? No. 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 I don't know how to edit a video. You know what? I will edit it, but you gotta Same accept. team. Same <laughs> team. You okay. gotta accept You I'm guys sure. are rolling into Thunder Tree. You're I don't know, I put you on the map somewhere. Is this where you even want to be? Yeah, sure. sure. I'm not even looking at the map plot twist. Alright, are you bringing Marvin with you? <laughs> Marvin gets to watch. Uh, we'll find a safe space for Marvin. Did I close out a roll twenty? No, my character sheet's still up. Where the fuck? We is can roll? put Marvin in this building here again. All right. Because we'll yeah. need him to carry the corpse. All right, we're locking Marvin in this building. Got it. It'll be okay, Marvin. Simon can't hurt you anymore. With his dick. All right. There you go. Doors locked. What's going on with Marvin? You guys no longer know. Okay. Did we really lock the door? 
I mean, I guess we we closed the door, right? Yeah, because I was say we locked the door. Like Marvin is now guaranteed to die. I'll be okay as long as I can't open doors. True. Can Marvin open doors though? Like that's the question. He's a very advanced mule, so perhaps animals sixty-five million years ago could open doors. So true. Evolution dictates they should have figured it out. All right. So, you guys see this green dragon flying around, or are you waiting for it to not be flying around? I wasn't really paying that much attention to what you were saying. Oh, shit, me either. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to wait for it to go to its lair, then we're going to sneak in at night. Right? That's the plan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, is that what we said? Oh my, that's like the opposite of what I thought we settled on. Okay, so what do you want to do? Yeah, there were two options, you guys. If I remember correctly, there was one wait for it to go to sleep, and there was two draw it out to fight in the open. I was not paying attention to which one you decided on, so that I wouldn't accidentally metagame you. Oh shit! I mean, I'm in a. Uh, If if it's gonna be a sweet fun, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, do you guys want to? You're just gonna like chill out outside here and just wait for it to not be in the sky anymore, or what are what are we doing here? Probably not in the wide open bit here. No. What if I, I can, the building? I don't know the the tree line here. Try and take cover in the trees and watch for it to come back. Oh, we could that. Which one was it in? One of these buildings was an inn, wasn't it? We could go in in the inn and wait. Oh, um, I think it's this one, but I don't really remember for sure. Yeah, we could hide in there because that was a a full building, had a roof and everything. The entire building hang out until nighttime. Yeah, that sounds yeah. reasonable. There you go. We have a plan, Chris. All right, I like it. L F G. Okay, but you're leaving Marvin down here? Or are you bringing him into the end too? Um, we we'll should probably take him with us All and right. leave him in the building that we're going to be in. Gotcha. Okay, so the I'm solid... sure dragons can't smell like donkey. Definitely not. And I, no. I've seen Shrek, so I know how donkeys okay. and dragons. So end. the solid buildings are here, and here, and here, and then this building, which you guys never went into. Oh, we sent um, Serafina and Daisy went and looked at that, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's we right. did our uh, support. We're going to go to one we definitely cleared out of fucking exploding zombies. Okay, well, this okay. Right. so the most solid building was, yeah, that one you just pinged, and then this one over here that you was the first one you went into last time. So you want to hang out over there? Yeah, because yeah, that's cool. not clear line of sight on the, because uh, there's a window and everything. There's a window here, and we can see here. Where which where's here? Uh, I'm using it. I'm think I'm. Oh, using okay, shit. cool. Up there. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, I'm gonna move you guys up there. Uh, feel free to. I think the doors and everything are open. You should be able to just move in there however you want. Yep, and there's a little ladder in there if you remember that goes up to the roof, so you can even oh, sit up there and look if you want. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, do we want to send a stealthy person up there? Um, while you guys are walking over there, give me uh, give me some perception checks again. Goddamn fucking shit! Little tree thing's gonna get us. How how mm, dare the environment? Daisy, you're there. very perceptive. You see, Wait. um, while you're walking around, so you know, I mentioned earlier, like there aren't a whole lot of big animals left, but there are small ones, you know, like mice and rabbits and stuff that kind of seem to be just watching you. Not doing anything, you know, just standing there, menacingly. Mm. No, not actually menacingly. Just kind of, you know, like staying at a distance, keeping an eye on you. God damn you to hell! I will speak with one of the rabbits. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, yeah. What are you just gonna go try to walk up to it? 
<laughs> I'm going to cast it first and like, what's up, little man? How's it, how's it going? How's your day been? Just, just looking out. Just looking out. What are you looking out for? You. Uh, looking out for me? Or oh, us? All you. You know belong here. Oh, I've been here before. My master used to bring me here all the time. Gonna kind of look at you quizzically. Uh, who are you uh, looking out for? You! No, who's that? who asked you to look out for us? Me! Yeah. Ask self. Ask self and brain very nicely. Keep lookout. Yeah. Why look out? Yeah. Why why are you is there anything scary around here? You I'm not scary. Do you want a carrot? I take one of Marvin's carrots and offer the rabbit a carrot. It's not gonna come any closer to you. Uh, I'll walk halfway there, put the carrot down and then walk. Yeah, no, as, as you got closer it's gonna back up and everything too. Yeah, well, I'll put it down and then I'll move like the, the distance. I'll move further away from it than I mm-hmm. was, so it's got that safe space. Nah, it's not he, interested in your carrot. It fucking little shit. Um. Okay, well, hopefully you're having a good day. I'm. Go- Is there any other animals? Because I've got ten minutes of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in for ten minutes of this. <laughs> Uh, that hey. was the closest one. That was a rabbit. But, you know, there's like a squirrel hanging out in a tree up here, just kind of looking at you in between, you know, eating. You know, there's no birds, though, because birds aren't real. True. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, why is this rabbit being such a dick? Ah! <laughs> you, you speak? Yes, so do you. It's fun, isn't it? Of course I speak. I speak to me all the time. Why are you all watching us? I asked me to. You just you just watch out for everything? Anything scary? Yeah. Any any big green fly scary things? Big big green fly thing. Where did all the big animals go? Oh, it's much safer now. No more big animals. Except you. you. Know, oh, we're, we're friendly. We're, we don't hurt small animals. I saw what you did to all those twigs. They small. I small. Uh, the, the twigs tried to um, bite my ankles. You wouldn't try and bite my ankle, would you? They are plants. Not, after Not you animal. Kill squig. Twig. Uh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're a lot safer now. Is there uh, anyone staying in the big building behind you? Big green friend. Make forest safe. Oh, I'm glad that you feel a lot safer. What? Does it, do you not worry that all of the things just died? All oh, what thing? What? Only only killing happened here, you. Okay. Well, I hope you have a good day. Can I kind of keep staring at you blankly? I saw lots of good acorns in this tree over here. And I just pointed at some of the other trees. Give me a deception check. I would never lie to a helpless animal. Are you telling the truth? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see some good acorns in there? I don't know. I think they were good. I don't know what a good acorn is. I'll give him a good berry. A 13. 
Okay, I check later. Good job, it wasn't with disadvantage. It's true. Apparently, I have a minus one. Oh yeah, my charisma's only a nine. I don't know why anybody would ever like me. All right. Your your spell's probably wearing off around now, and your party's yeah, eyes yeah. are all gouged out when you get back. <laughs> Surely they wanted to know what the squirrel and the rabbit had to say. Oh, this actually gives ha- me an idea if you relate if you are you're relaying all this to Hamrick. I do. I what, what, what if this right? What if we piss off the dragon real good, like, and burn down the forest? I don't know that the dragon actually cares about these things. I think that they are just stupid, and the dragon ate all of the predators. Yeah, you're right. Animals are stupid. Don't listen to him, Marvin. Not like gold. Gold is me friend. And swords and axes and beards. True. All right. So well, I'm going to move you guys you inside because it sounds like you're inside. Yeah. We get Marvin into a nice safe space. Here's uh, Daisy, Seraphine. So you're having all these conversations inside, right? Yeah. Cool. Was it somebody going out on the roof or no? No, we just have the window. Okay. We have windows. Yes, you're not going to be able to follow this thing flying around in the window 100% of the time, but, you know, every couple minutes you'll see it kind of scouting out its turf. This is where it moves on peacefully because it's killed everything big in this area. (laughs) Well done, you cleared Thunder Tree of the Dragon. We're just going to hang out, you know, not not make a fire or anything, just kind of prepare and wait yeah okay wait for it to land basically Gosh. yeah and all I right think the plan once it's landed is to uh is to get up in there um and quietly get in there and then try and attack it from all sides cool okay um so how long are how long are we willing to wait or would you rather just go like a couple hours at a time all right so so you guys hang out for two hours and it's still out there uh you're gonna wait longer okay. it's uh right. starting to get dark it's like twilight basically Yeah, I think we uh, we're committed now. Okay. Yep. And everybody's inside the building entirely. Yep. Okay. Um, another two hours come by, and you see it start getting significantly closer to the ground in this area. It's gonna keep keeping an eye on it. Yeah. Keep on. Yeah, I mean, like, there's um, I might. Uh, let's see. I might try and get over this tree here and just uh, kind of stay underneath it, stay under the brush, get some get get a better view. Okay. Yeah. So you're out there and you see it coming down. Uh, give me. Well, let's. See. Okay, yeah, it doesn't see you, uh, but you do see it land. Let's see, you'll see this dragon land directly on top of the building with everyone on top of it, and everyone inside the building is just going to hear, feel just outrageous shaking as it basically crashes into it. It's this whole building's, you know, barely standing. Uh, and then it takes back off. Goes and lands in its lair. Well, on top of the tower. Okay. Well, it knows we're here then. I think we just go and offer it out. 
Listen here. You big bully. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what's the plan? So Daisy, you see this dragon just basically crash into this building. Not like, you know, through it, but like clearly forcefully fuck with it and then fly back directly into the lair. So what are you up to? What are you doing? Okay, so I'm watching. Uh, so it is on top of its tower. Uh, yeah, you don't, you can't see on top of it. So you see it go like land up there, but uh -huh. like it's tall enough. It's like 60 or 70 feet tall, right? So you can't actually see anything on top of it. Okay. You just see it clearly land up there. And yeah, I mean, you see it crash on top of this building. You can't really see the top of the building. So you wouldn't know what exactly happened there other than it just like tried to eat the fuck out of a building. And left. I'm going to. Go and check on Marvin. <laughs> okay. Um, Marvin is clearly unsettled. Kind of, you know, pacing around in circles. He's a very good donkey. He's not panicking. He's not, you know, trying to bust through a wall or anything. But poor Marvin's very scared. Understandable. Well, I'll um I'll I'll sneak I'll sneak my way to the door and I'll let him know to uh to um you know, past the trace, you'd probably start approaching, but, you know, be quiet, yeah. be stealthy about it. And I guess, get ready to go. Okay. And see if the people who have dark vision can actually see it. So you guys are headed on over, you can, you guys can move your tokens and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. My shit's really laggy, so I'm going to stop moving yours for you. You guys got to move yourselves. Okay. Yeah, I would just um, say if you can do the pass the trace bit, and then all the dark vision people can see if they can see it, basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I just go on my own rather than trying to get Hamrick to come with me. So, Daisy, are you still looking at the tower? Yeah. Yeah, you see it poke its head out every now and then over the side. Well, not just its head, right? Like its entire body, but yeah. Is it, it doesn't seem overly thing? concerned with staring in that direction, but like, you know, it clearly is coming to check on like that building every now and then. It knows. I think the game is up. So we send Hamrick out. I could do it. Well, here, what if... What if? Rip, Jeremy. <laughs> Fucking what if? What if we do nothing? <laughs> That's what it. if we try silence? I could turn into a squirrel because it it didn't kill the squirrels, and I could go and have a look. Or I could be a squirrel and talk to the other squirrel. Does your oh, squirrel, squirrel form have better charisma than your regular form? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the fucking charisma of a squirrel in D and is. Rip. Oh, there he is. He lives. You had a plan, and then you stopped talking, and it was quite dank. Oh, cool. Well, if you guys come out, uh, you know, stay hidden, undercover, or whatever. Um, maybe I sneak into its lair, take something, draw it out, piss it off. Okay. I will cast a protection for yeah, protection from poison on Daisy. Cool. I'd have to be over here. Do that. Cool. Okay. So you cast that. What's the plan, Daisy? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna quietly sneak up to its uh to its building, to its lair. Okay. So let me see how well the lighting's working here. Okay. okay. So yeah, you can see where the doors and entrances are. Okay. All yeah, that yeah, is still. 
is one top one bottom yeah yep but yeah i think i'll take this uh this little like forested path and um yep i agree lost him again yeah. something like that get my way in I'm also not a fan of these dead bodies because I don't think they were there when we killed stuff earlier. It's that one move, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Only half a move. Really cheesy. Yeah, I need a stealth roll from you too, by the way. Sure. It's very 20. True. Big 20 I guess, energy. I guess plus 10. Yep, so it's 30. Oh, even better. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you can you get over there. Nothing exciting happens. Okay. I'm going to go up to the store and try mm -hmm. and uh, quietly yeah. open it. Yeah, it's not locked or anything. You open it just fine. Cool. Uh, you know, make sure there's no like traps or wires or stuff like that as I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Do you need a perception check from you, too? Perception, eh? Yeah, you're super confident. There's no trap or anything. Nice. Okay, good. All right, you're back in this room. I don't know how well you remember, but yeah. All right, as you step there. Okay. Uh, we got to roll initiative. Cool. Is this all of us? Nope, just Daisy. Oh, I mean, cool. well, we can roll everyone else too if you want, but it'll be in a second. I'm sorry I didn't have the initiative track over. I'm an asshole. You are. True. There we go. Oh, no token was selected. Shut up, game. I hate you. Roll. Okay. So, at initiative 20... Oh, 23. Never mind. You're up first. No, I'm 13. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Alright, so... Descending Baskins... We're going to go to next. Okay, so at initiative 20, a very large, like basically a wall of thickets appears. And I'm just going to draw it, I guess. Completely, and this is something everyone that's outside is going to be able to see. This thing is... Oh, how tall is this? 10 feet tall. And it goes all the way across here like this, completely blocking this door. Oh, could you not see that? Shoot. I oh. can. There we go. Oh, sorry, my roll 20 is active. Should be good. Okay. Uh, okay. And there you go. That's. Then it'll be Seraphina. Oh, Seraphina's not here, so then it'll be Daisy's turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess. I'm going to go over here and try this door, make sure it's okay. Which, that door, oh, and I was going to say, when you get in here, this map isn't really accurate anymore, because this archway was destroyed. So this actually just opens like this, and like this, and there's no door there. And you oh, should okay. be able to see past it, right? I think yeah, I can see yeah. lines. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, you still want to go test out that door? Uh, yeah, make sure it's okay. Yep, it opens up just fine. Cool. Uh, then I'm going to go find like a table or something to hide behind. Okay, give me another and, stealth roll. And just chill until things yep. happen. Uh, The stealth. 20. Well, 30. Well, what does Pass Without Trace say? Let's see. Um, I've got it open. So we would have seen this big wall of bonds. Oh, yeah. Here, Everybody saw this. So do we so get you guys to can, come in? Yeah, you guys can roll yeah. initiative if you want. So I'll just wait for we'll, Yep. Yeah, we'll uh, correct it as we go. So it really would have been Serafina going before Daisy, so we can go ahead and do that. So if you want. Okay. Um, I would start running this way. Okay. Cool. Remember. 
Yeah, I'll just dash to that point. But no, I won't dash. I'm going to move to here and also cast protection from poison on myself. Got it. All right, Hamrick. Sorry, do Baskin. See, do you see a giant wall of thorns appear just out of nothingness right after Daisy walks in? What do you do? Where did it appear? Uh, you see the big blue line on the map? Yeah, barely. Right there. Yep, oh. it's like 10 feet tall, just appeared from nothingness right after you lost sight of Daisy. Do I still have the boots of speed or did I give them back to my buddy? You gave them back. Sure. Uh, I will move 25 feet. Plot along. And... Do these trees actually obstruct movement or anything, or can I more? No, 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 they're the yeah, obstruct ones. You could I'm throw your axe and it sticks in the tree. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to there. To the double piece. Cool. Okay, and then Daisy already went. So it's going to be our good friend, Venom Fang is going to come straight down through the hole in their lair. What's lair? Token lair. Hi, Venom Fang. Hi, Dragon. And let's see, what's their movement? Oh, it's fast. Okay. Crashing to here. It's going to make a perception check. Fail horribly. And uh, let's see. A 30 foot cone, so you're hiding behind like a table, right? Mm hmm. Cool. So it's gonna take a step back into here and just. Let's draw shape. Yeah, we'll just. Alright, here. So it. Uh, night. Yeah, alright, so it'll hit just all the room with the poison breath, basically. Okay. And. Let's see, do I just click this? Oh, 30 foot cone. How far is this? 15. Okay. Alright, so it is a... I'm whispering to myself. Very annoying. Okay, so it's a DC 14 constitution. Save and throw. Okay. Uh, let's see. You've got advantage, Jeremy, because of resistance to poison. Oh, I do. Neat. Not protecting the poison. Yep, you're good either way. Okay, right. so then you take half of this, but then also half of it again, right? Yeah. So it is 40, 20, 10 damage. Okay, and then I'll use my uncanny dodge to half that. Cool, make it five. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Neat. Good so, reaction. What do you recommend? Yep. Um, and that's going to knock you out of cover and everything, because most of the furniture here is just obliterated. Right, sure. Uh, cool. Okay, and that'll be Venom Fang's turn. Baskins, you hear just, you hear the poison breath go off. You're 10,000 miles away. What is the story? Baskins is AFK. Okay, we'll come back to Baskins. Serafina. So I resistance to poison myself, so dick. Oh, so over half of my move. Um, and um, I'm going to dash and then I'm gonna cast Shoele as a bonus action. Sounds good. So I can get to a doorway. I'm, I'm not going to go in, I'm going to like stand at the doorway. Yeah, like behind the doorway or whatever. Yeah, so I can get in next round. Sounds good. Hamrick, what's your story? Can I, are there any like windows in this wall? Uh, I mean, you can see the little slits on the side, right? There's like little arrow slits. Okay, and so I don't there's, no, like... there's no roof in there either. There is a roof. There's a hole oh. in the roof. Okay. Do I think I could... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Do I think so? That I'm assuming this is a slit right here, or what is this like? Right? Yeah, that's. Well, I mean, so it's like a you know, like your standard fantasy tower thing, where it's like there's a there's little arrow slits all the way up the stairs, but then also at the top there's like the little openings to pour oil or whatever out of, or shoot arrows or blah blah blah. I think I could throw the axe through it. You could try it. So it's like 50 feet in the air. Um. So there's th there's nothing on like a low level that I could. No, it's pretty much straight up. And then there's no windows below, none of the arrow slits below, like, the second and a half floor. Okay. Oh, so this tower is super tall, then, too. Yeah, it's, like, 50 feet tall. Okay. And Seraphine is already over there, so there goes jump as an option. Well, huh, stacking in the door has gone really bad for us. And the dragons are <laughs> the door. So, fuck it, I'm gonna, you know, get up to here, and yeah, I'll try and, uh, pop <laughs> the magic axe in there, let's go. Alright, give me an attack roll. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Are we dead uh, yet? Where is You're it? still alive. That doesn't seem likely. Fourteen! 14. <laughs> you know what? You see, so you're just trying to lob it in between the things? Yeah. Alright, so your axe goes through, where are you, so you're standing right there. Yeah, basically I want to like line up with it because I, I I remember where this straight up was right. So cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna roll a d4 to see where it lands up there. Okay, cool. So you'll be this is gonna get complicated. All right, so you're gonna be landed up here. Um, the way this room is laid out is there's a hole. You're on the ceiling, right? And there's a hole at the top of the steps area, like here. And I guess you wouldn't be able to land there, you'd be able to land like here, right? Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're up on the roof. Up on the roof? Yep. Uh, do I blow my... and how far down is it? Uh, it's about 50 feet down. Do I blow my action surge for this? No. Second attack. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, you get two attacks right now, you're level five. Oh, I do, don't I? Let's do it. Second attack. Can I do a second attack? Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to lob your axe up and then, like, find a different place to throw it, right? Like... Fucking my I will, uh... is fly to get me. <laughs> I'll, I'll ready an attack in case it flies up then, since I think... Uh... Okay. Yeah, sounds good. What, with uh, what weapon? Your axe? Your me sword? Yeah, with the axe. Okay. Uh, so oh, yeah, Seraphina, really it would be... Yeah, or, sorry, Faskins, it would be your turn, but we skipped you, so you're up. Uh, okay. So let's see. Let's a go. giant thorn-like wall appeared after Daisy walked in, uh, and then you would, and then you heard a poison breath, and Daisy forgot to take damage from it, and then it would be your turn. Okay. So technically, Hammer's still on the ground and isn't teleporting all over the place yet, but... So. So out of a potential 40 of 42 damage, Daisy took five. Yeah, true. Nice. As planned. <laughs> Calculated. So I guess we'll dash to this door over here. My oh gosh, that's not good. What's up? I'm right here. That's where that was 40. Get to right there. And then this like blue stuff is. Vines I can't get through. Yeah, right? it's a ten foot tall, like very thick thing of vines that you're gonna have to like burn or break to get through. Not something you can just walk through. Okay, well let's see. I'm pretty good at climbing. How tall is the tower? It's about fifty feet. Okay. Uh, we'll just chill out over here. All this blue stuff inside there is also vines. Right? No, the blue stuff in there. I was drawing the roof for. Wait, what? Oh, so like a hole. Yeah, like the hole. circle. And yeah, the circle walls. With... Yeah, the circle is the hole in the ceiling for Zach, and then the those that doorway is gone from where you guys were earlier, and I just drew the new walls of like how it's laid out. Ah, post breath weapon attack. Door. Uh, well, past Got post it. door wrecking last time. Oh, retcon. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. I'll dodge action or whatever too. No, I can't. I, I dashed, so I can't do anything else. Okay, so then it is Miss Milkins. Let's fucking go. Hey, look at uh, the dragon. Would it, oh, would it not be Baskins again? That was my no. first turn. 
No, we... Baskin's was... Baskin's turn was before anything exciting happened last oh, time. All right, yeah, sorry, I can... Yeah. I'm gonna walk up here and I'm gonna stab this dragon in the heart. All right, yeah. let's see it. Oh, L cool. and... Sorry. Daisy, you gotta take your five damage. I did. Oh, did you have 47 health to start? Oh, no, did we... Oh, well, we, we, sorry, we don't have the, we don't have the temporary hit points. Right. Not yeah. that actually. Oh, true. But we did. Simon was with us then. Uh -huh. he, was, he was with us. He was with us. No, no you guys travel for two days. Fuck true. Off. Get out of uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go I mean, and let's wait, stab wait, this let's... dragon with my rapier. Let's Give see me it. a stab. Why is it called an even rapier? Because it's magic now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that yeah. makes it even? <laughs> Even rapier. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> oh, there dude. it is. Jesus. I'm surprised Chris was the last one to get that. God damn god. it. He assumed something more hard though, huh? Yeah, true. <laughs> Mistake. Uh, let's see. So oh, I'm all right. Your 27 20... definitely hits. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and then... Snack attack. Snack attack. 19 damage, huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then they're gonna do it again. Ooh. Yikes. Nine. Not a Except good That's a one. I get to reroll it. Thanks. Oh, true. Thanks, Halfling. That's All not right, gonna man. help you. You hate to see it. Heroic. Right. Heroic. I'm gonna go over here now. Oh, wait, no. You All get right. another attack, don't you? No, like, that, was my that was my second attack. Like do you get yeah. bonus no attack? no rogues don't get an extra attack at level five. Yeah, it's only it's only a TLT. No, I get the take no damage ability at level five. Which seems pretty oh, okay. good. Yeah. Just All say right. no. I get the re I get I, I get I instead of a, a triple TLT so, I get reinforce. Is anyone <laughs> So who can see into this thing right now? So Hamrick, you're like looking down into the room right now? Yeah. Alright, so all right, it's gonna be Venom Fang's turn, and you're going to see in the pile of loot a hammer start to glow as Venom Fang uses Bonk, rolls a 26 on Daisy. What? Oh man, uh, so that I, sucks. I assume that's a hit because it's a crit, so get fucked. Uh, yeah, that's oh, gonna be a hit. No, you guys can't see my text. Hang on, this is very important. Uh, advanced? Is he gonna send me to horny jail? It's. <laughs> Fuck, where is, how do I, there's a way to change it. Is it the token setting? Visible to editors, no, no, no. There's like a chat thing you can change. Advanced uh, settings, no. Do I do this? Attribute, all right, whatever. God damn here, I'll just copy this to it. So. Fuck, I can't even copy, all right, here we go. You just have to do a window thing and post it in Discord. Yeah, here you go, true. Bonk. Bonk! Good luck! So, it does a casual... Where'd my calculator go? There it is. It does a casual 27 damage. Oh, I'm gonna half that. Thanks. But I don't like it. I'm still, I'm still mad about it. You can half things more than once? It's, a, it's my reaction. Dank. Okay. When, uh... As a, as a reaction, take no damage. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, and it needs to recharge its breath. Neat. Okay. okay. And our good friend Venom Fang is going to. Um. Yeah, probably come. Like, get. Underneath the hole? Actually, I'll probably get to the bottom of the stairs here. There we go. And hang out there. And baskets. So yeah, they're at the bottom of the stairs, not the top of the stairs. So it's like a stairway that goes up, and then they just kind of bash down where the stairs met the ceiling and made a big hole there. In a perfect position to get ridden by a dwarf, is what he's saying. <laughs> True. Fucking... <laughs> just... You know, <laughs> we just believe you at this point, Josh. You can do whatever you want. All right, well, we're gonna run in there, I guess. 
couple of dozen pairs. Do you uh, have, have like stunning strike and shit like that? Yeah. I do, yeah, but it has. It's, it's, like, it's not gonna cool. stop it. <laughs> it will. Ye of little faith. All right. Well, let's see if I can hit it first. That's like oh, true. job numero uno. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Staff of Defense, sure. Actually, no, wait. I'm gonna use Spire I, I forgot about all of your magical fucking staffs. Dang. Oh, wait. What's the rule if a uh, character's above the guy and not in the same room, but still on the... Wait, this what? is a this is a, this is a cluster mine question. Okay. <laughs> is it an advantage on this attack? <laughs> yeah, do of Hamrick? No, no, no. Hamrick's not even in the same room as you. That's sad. Yeah, so your 15's a miss. That's really sad. Alright, well, second normal attack. 14's 14. also a miss. Gosh, okay. Well, uh, let's do the extra TLT attack. 27. There you go. 27 go. hits. 8. 8? 8. Eight. Alright, and I'm going to spend a key point to do Stunning Strike. You have to pass a DC 14. Constitution check. Uh, oh, okay. I believe you. It's so fucking same. teacher. Yeah, so it gets a... What's its mod? 19. Okay, well, he got it. Alright, <laughs> well, let's spin another to do another punch. Keep punching A, B, P. Book. 18 <sighs> hits. 18. What? Okay. 9. 9 damage. Let's see, can I stunning strike again? Yep. All right. Should I? Though? Eh, why not? I'll stunning strike, and I'll use a Barf's backstory point to make you fail it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. It rolls a fifteen and decides to use its. Wait, what does it have to be? It has to be fall three fourteen. Oh, oh okay. And well, you uh, you burned a legendary resistance. So. <laughs> <laughs> He pressed a button, we all saw it. <laughs> he pushed it, it was lit up, and he pushed it. Uh, but talking touch a map, man. Can't change it. <laughs> Alright. And I get free disengage because I'm a monk. Yeah, we know, it's fine. Yeah, we'll go here. Alright. And Serafina. I'm Serafina. <laughs> What's the story? Um, do we... Who has the healing potions? I do. Yeah. yeah, I don't have do one. I okay. I uh, have I'm one. going to move here. Uh, let's measure it out. See if I can do deep off. I can't get out. I can go in, but I can't get back out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being limited by the thing of by Oof. measurement. Oof. Um, I think I have to just burn all of my spells then. So we will call lightning. So it needs a DC 15 save. Let's see, it has plus four. It rolls a 19, 23. Okay, in that case, it takes six damage. Okay, and does Call Lightning, like, does it, is it gonna hit Hammer 2? Is my question. Uh, I, I can put it in any spit. Let me read it. <laughs> read me the oh, great words. Hit the range more, 120 more feet. Questions. Um, I choose one object, creature, or magical effect within range. Um, oh, that's the thing I'm reading the spell magic there. That's why it didn't seem right. <laughs> so basically, a big storm cloud appears above inside this building, apparently. Ten uh, feet tall. Yep, centered on yep. a point within range you can see. The spell fails yep. if you can't see a point in the air with a storm cloud can appear. For example, if you're in a room, all right, you're in a room that can accommodate the cloud, so that's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it in this square here. Which this creature has been five feet of it, and Hamrick's not. Yep, sounds good. So oh, that's where the bolt will flash down. Okay, yeah. Hamrick. Speaking of, okay. can I? Oh, can sorry. I, um, yeah, I have I, a. Bo I, I've got a bonus action as well. What's which the bonus action? Should be healing word on Daisy for seven. 
Hey, I'll take it. All right, Thank Amber. you. Uh, so, can I hit it with reaction? Can I see it? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to walk around to the other side of the hole, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw me axe now. I think he's at the maximum range of my axe, so I would have disadvantage on this. Uh, if you're on a 50 foot tower, you're gonna be up there. You're standing like four feet in the air. It's like 20 feet tall, though, 10 to 20 feet tall. So it's the optimum, right? Yeah. How far is the range of your axe? <laughs> I think it's 20. Oh God! Wait, what? It's 20 min 60 max. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think you'll have disadvantage on it. Okay. I was gonna say or 20, 20 regular 60 max. Yeah. So usually when you're past that first one, you get disadvantage, and then anything past that other range. Oh, you just can't. Okay. I was thinking it was min 20. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so never mind. You will in fact have disadvantage. Good luck. I would say it's a it's a hand axe, so presumably it has no minimum range. Ah, you're too close for me to hit with this axe. What will we do? True. Uh, good disadvantage. Sad. Yeah, so you're three. Okay. Well, you're throwing it down. So yeah. let's see. Let's just roll a d20 to see how fuck your axe throw is. It's a seven. It's not a great axe throw. So you're going to land like well short of it under the stairs there. Ah, I'm going to use my... Oh, wait. So right there? Yep. That is next to the dragon. All right. Sword time. Does a 19 hit? A 19 does hit. All right. Uh, me, me sword two. Me sword me two. Plus on. one. I'm getting a notification that someone is playing seed, so I can't see the dice break down. Um, there's there a one is in there. a one in there. All right. Now it's a two. Uh, 21 damage. damage. Oh, 21 damage. Yeah, 22. Yeah, 21. No. Yeah, 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 21. There you All go. Right. All good? Uh, no. Do it. Do it. Do I or do I wait do you for you to and have advantage on this? I, Chris won't give us advantage in this fight, will he? Uh, the dragon can just fucking move. So. Yeah. All right. Second wind it is. Let's do another round of sword. Twenty. Uh, that's a crit. That's a crit. Uh, I don't know. Why Nineteen. Yeah. yeah. So this is a crit. Yep, so just you just click it twice to get our okay. rolls to add up. And take eight off the top. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, so I got to re... There's a one in the first one. So okay. Now it's a six. six. So, 18 plus four. Wait, where's the one in the first one? Uh, it says three plus four plus five plus one. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 and then just roll again? Yep, yeah, just roll again. Okay. And then we'll take off... Oh, there's a one and a two in there, sir. Yep. Hey, go ahead and take those is off. Ones? Is it ones? You can just, just slash, just slash one roll 2d6. Okay. It would be way easier than trying to redo all the math. Alright, so another 15 damage. Alright. There you go. To be fair, the dragon should have one more hit point. No. The first one was the plus one was a the mod. I thought he was re-rolling his one on his. Oh yeah, never mind. True. Yes, correct. Plus one. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, you're right. I want the backstory to be accurate. Just. So <laughs> <you know. laughs> yep, I, yeah, I read that wrong. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I just got excited. That's a pretty good. One. That's a pretty good combo. Always re-roll your plus one. Yep. <laughs> All right, Daisy. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna hit and then roll six red dice. The real reason Come. we took the magic weapon from Zach. <laughs> when Daisy crits this motherfucker, I'm gonna be all in on 42 hit points just disappearing. Alright, I'm in. Let's go. Hi. I'm Daisy. Hi. Greetings. Uh, do I get flanked for this or do I have to go further? Uh, you should. You'll have to go. I. I think you have to be. Let's. You just need to be able to draw a line through it, so that should be good. Yeah. Okay. I mean. All right. Yeah. It's fine. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi. Nineteen, 19 hits. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
So 20 damage. Twenty also hits. Or another eleven damage. Oh. Oh, panic. Not negative health. There Not negative go. health. Very close to negative health. Alright. It will be Venom Fang's turn. Hi Venom Fang. I'm Daisy. Ven Venom Fang is going to I don't know if you can see this. Multi attack. So it's gonna bite. Daisy, who it's very mad at now. True. I would be too. So, a 19 to hit. Uh, that hits. Or 17 piercing damage. That sounds bad. I'm going to take half of that. Okay. So then it'll be 8 piercing damage. That's... that's I like that better. Okay. Then it's going to claw you. Uh, 27 is a crit for Pretty 12 sure flashing hits. damage. Okay. You love to and see it. it. And then it's going to claw you again for an 11, which presumably does not hit. That is a miss. Go. Cool. And... Um... Yeah, it's going to hang out there, because if it moves, it's, it'll die. <laughs> so, Baskins. Oh, it's Baskins. in hell. Oh, good. Uh, Baskins, Baskins is going to come and kill her. killer. <laughs> 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 we couldn't have written it better. Goddamn. Give me your backstory. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Uh, let's get his backstory. Right. Baskin's the backstory. I should have right here. Is, <laughs> gives me a nice line. Sight through him. I can draw a line through that big circle. Big boy. All right. So there. you got to be here, like from this side to like that side where you'd have to go to get advantage uh, here. Okay. Uh, well, like, really, Daisy should have had to be here for this advantage, but since it's like a circular arena thing, I was, I'm not, I don't care enough to fight it. Alright, well, sure. But I'm sure you can get there because you're basket, so whatever. So Remember, true. flanking's an optional rule, so you can use it as optionally as you like. True! <laughs> um, so, ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, dear. I think you 28 <laughs> hits. Yep. This is where the poison damage heals it, though. I don't know. No, it's just immune to your poison damage, but your 11 bludgeoning damage will kill Venom Fang. That's and down cool. it goes. Wow. It comes crashing down with a scream and dies, offering up its backstory. Yay. Yatta. Yatta. Uh, yeah. It's uh it's not a super old dragon, so its treasure hoard kinda sucks. But it's it's existent. There's a pile of weapons and armor and stuff kinda hanging out on the floor. What's with that oh, hammer? Fuck. Yeah, there's a that hammer you saw glowing earlier is over there too. Yeah. Just looks like a hammer, yeah, true. Weird. Well I'm gonna pick it up and swing it around for a bit. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to swing it at, at anyone in particular, or uh, no, at the courts. Okay. Yeah, just a whole bunch of nothing exciting happens. I'm going to offer Daisy thirty good berries. <laughs> I will. I will. God, that's something. That's going to go straight to my thighs. You get 30 health back after 30 rounds of eating. Mm. Health back? Who lost health? No, stop! I don't want to eat anymore! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Mr. Oh no, Miss Serafina, I can't possibly eat anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Anybody else going through treasure or anything? Oh I'll yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to start oh, trying to man. chop yeah, up the you dragon. Can cast Oh, okay. I was going to say, you're going to cast Detect Magic or whatever. I know... I, I'm... No, no, no. Oh, I do have Detect. Fuck! I'm going to have to cast it at level 3. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid good berries. Yeah, I'll cast Detect Magic. Alright. Perception. I'm so, perceptive. the only magic thing in there is... Where... I had it. I had it. I had it set aside somewhere. <sighs> Where did I put it? It's not the character sheet. This is no longer needed. It's not here. Another staff. 
There it is. It is a necklace. It has eight beads hanging from it. And is clearly what magical. What color are the beads? Uh they're they're just I guess they're red. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think what someone should do is take a bead off its necklace and throw it really hard at the grind at our feet. Same. The end. Um, cool. I I will tell people about the magic necklace. Neat. And then I would like to start harvesting the dragon for um, pieces. <laughs> I, I played my Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. You get a Rathalos Fang, and uh... wow. All right. You you get nothing because you're fucking shit at this. You start carving, and everything starts dissolving in your hands. Oh, Chris, very, there's one other very important item in the stack of things, but I forgot to ask you beforehand what Seraphina's master's focusy thing was. But that's in oh, there. Is it is old wooden stuff? Oh no. Yep. Oh. I, I will take his wooden stuff and replace mine with it as a sign of respect. F. Yep. Indeed. At least I now know and can continue Seraphina's wife in peace. Mm. You still swinging this hammer around, Daisy? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I will right. turn into a burr and let Daisy hit me with the hammer. Burr. Bear. All burr. right. Bonk. Burr's yep. over, burr. <laughs> burr's over, yep. burr. Yeah. On swinging the hammer, clearly pointed at something, you see your good squishy hammer friend appear out of the air and bonk. Seraphina takes 75% of her bear health, but I assume she's not going to be a bear once it goes away. What was this dragon's um, name? Venom, Venom Fang. Fang. Are Got you going to do it again? Or are you happy with your one bonk test? No, it's a good bonk. I like it. Okay. Got a good bonk off. All right. Yeah, I'll turn not. I'll turn back, so I've taken no damage. Bonk. I can turn back oh, into a, a bear wait, again. Wait, you did bonk once. Okay. As you bonk Seraphina, it dis the hammer dissolves in your hands. <laughs> Eat a dick. Oh, it, it had oh, one no. charge. Restore daily. And you rolled a six on your d6 for it to evaporate. You hate to see it. Damn. No sending people to horny jail for you. That's sad. I really like that <laughs> item. I wanted Daisy to send people to horny jail. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Especially now that she's got super thick thighs. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, at least we solved the puzzle of what happened to my master. The cultists apparently didn't kill him. This vile beast did. True. Well, we avenged him. That dragon won't terrorize this land anymore. Die. <laughs> if you care, there's like, I don't know, three or four hundred gold worth of just armor and shit here that's mostly in good shape. Uh, it's nothing that would be an upgrade or anything for you guys. I can enumerate it all out if you care, but I suspect the answer is we're going to load it onto Marvin and sell it, so whatever. Correct. No gems or anything, just a beta large dragon. See, I, I knew play more dragons. Yeah, we killed a dragon. Only four of us. True. Oh yeah, and you know what? I'll give you your XP now. Oh, what yeah. is a CR eight large dragon worth? Thirty nine hundred XP. Over four, nine hundred and seventy-five a piece. Cool. So nine seventy-five you said? Yep. Nine seventy-five. I'm at nine thousand two hundred and forty, which means you guys should be at nine thousand two hundred and forty-three. True. That checks out. I'm at eighty-two sixty-nine. Blaze it. But what was the what was Dang. the uh, 
what was the um, experience for those dead corpses that we didn't kill? <laughs> since we're the only, <laughs> since the only playable characters. What about, yeah, what about all the uh, all the yeah all the animals <laughs> that died of natural causes? What was Fandolin's experience? Too, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we have to go to we Fandolin want... and pick. We have to go to Fandolin and pick up all our, our experience with the army killing everybody. True. You're just walking around, suddenly go from level 5 to 12 as two armies <laughs> collide. <laughs> wow, cool. Is this the plot of Knights of the Old Republic 2? Neat. 